Hartford Lifestyle Online Magazine presents this series of informational videos sponsored by your hometown credit union, Harco Credit Union. Hi, I'm Gil Kennedy, President and CEO of Harco Credit Union. You know, over the course of the last uh, eight weeks, um, we have uh, established a new normalcy. And it's a uh, normalcy that, that I'm really not used to. I'm one that's out and about in the community, out and about in my organization, but uh, I feel the lack of connection is uh, something that we all have to work on. So I, uh, with my team, I have decided to bring about some informational um, efforts to provide you with uh, resources uh, that will allow you to understand this period of time, as well as the journey that we're going to be traveling over the next uh, six months. And uh, so with Harford Lifestyle Magazine, we are, uh, we'll, we'll be filming a, a series of these programs that will give you information on finance, that will give you information on credit, will give you information on health, both mental as well, as well as physical health. So uh, as well as some, perhaps some other uh, areas that uh, we feel it's important to communicate to you with. So with that being said, I welcome you to this series and look forward to providing you with that information. Gil, what's different uh, with the credit union now that we're in the midst of this uh, eight weeks into the COVID-19 virus? It has truly been an uh, eye-opening experience as it relates to what this pandemic means to you know, our country to, and to our community and, and, to, and really to our operation. Uh, you know, we have not closed any of our branches. Uh, we did close our lobbies. Uh, but we are continuing to service our members through the drive through through our internet banking platform, and through our uh, mobile devices. So that's uh, the continuity of service is very critical to the su success of our economy, both nationally as well as uh, locally. Gil, you talked about how things have changed a lot here at Harco as a result of the COVID pandemic. How do you see things being different when we come back? Well, Larry, that's a, that's a great question. You know, how different will it be when our uh, members come back into our lobby? Well, one thing I can tell you is that uh, what won't be different is our service levels and the pledge that we have made to deliver uh, a great member experience. Uh, that experience you most likely have seen in our on our website and in our lobbies where we have all pledged to d uphold those principles of great membership experience and service levels. So that will not change. There will be some physical things that change, um, particularly in our Bel Air branch as well as uh, the number of people that are going to be allowed into our branches at any one time. Let me start with Bel Air branch. Uh, Bel Air uh, for those that have been here, uh, you will notice that we have no glass uh, up between you and the teller. In our Aberdeen and Abingdon branches, we do have glass. So in order to assure safety for you as our member and for our employees, we are uh, erecting plexiglass. And that plexiglass will hang from the ceiling and will provide the necessary barrier in order to um, stop any spread of, of this, uh, this virus. Uh, you will also notice that uh, like many of the uh, employees in a grocery store or fast food establishment or uh, C store uh, establishments, uh, we will be wearing masks and we will have an abundance of hand sanitizer around our branch system uh, and for you to make sure your hands are cleaned and uh, you are certainly protected. We will have lines on the floor that will uh, be six feet apart. So everyone will know exactly what the appropriate distance is between you and the, and the next customer member. And uh, the other component that we will uh, make changes to is the capacity of and the occupancy of people allowed into our branch. Uh, we will establish those numbers 
and uh, we will control those numbers as best as we possibly can. Um, the other important thing to know is that our drive-throughs still will be functioning. And uh, for many, and, and I have to admit myself, uh, I think I'll be a little bit slow in uh, not rushing back uh, to go to every store and, and get back to what life was like before mid-March. But I think over time, uh, people will get more comfortable with um, coming into the lobby. So in the meantime, our, our uh, drive throughs at, every, at our, every branch will be open and, and functioning like uh, many of you have been using since uh, mid-March. Gil, one of the things that members always express is concern about the protection of their money. Is their money protected here at the credit union? Absolutely, Larry, it is. Um, you know, the financial system in this country uh, made a significant change back in the 08, 09 time period where regulators and um, government required levels of liquidity and levels of, of capital. Um, we are well capitalized. Uh, we have an abundance of liquidity. Uh, your money is safe. It's federally insured. Uh, and you know, our organization, which has been around since, um, well, you see it, 1955, uh, has built itself and built the foundation of stability. Uh, in the community as well as as well as well on our balance sheet. Gil, unfortunately, a lot of folks have lost their job as a result of this situation. If someone does not have a job right now and they're getting behind on their payments on their loan, what should they do? That's it, Larry, that's a very important question. And you know, we're here to serve our members and serve our members in good times as well as difficult times. And if you have a situation where you're struggling as it relates to income or debt levels, uh, the last thing we want you to do is not to come and talk to us. And if you have loans with other institutions, your best uh, defense against these kind of issues is to have open and active dialogue with your lender and, and your bank. Um, that will uh, allow people to be fully aware of the situation that you're dealing with and provide you with a solution. What we have done for our members is we've given, and, and the regulators have allowed us to do this, uh, is um, do modifications for our people. Uh, modifications, a 90-day deferral of a payment uh, with an option to extend again. If you look at our website, uh, I put out a uh, release uh, that is documented on our website about what we're, we're capable of doing and what the information requirements are that we'll need you to, to do. Obviously, uh, we have been operating uh, under appointments as well as on the phone. Uh, my suggestion is that you, you give us a call. We'll get you to the right person. And we'll have, if we need you to provide us with information, you could just drop it by, put it in the night drop, and we'll try to you know, uh, employ either a conference call or video conferencing in order to help you through this situation. Let's say I have a friend that wants to become part of HARCO, wants to join as a member. Are you taking applications for new members at this point? Absolutely. You know, it's um, uh, membership growth uh, to support the community is very, very important. I think a lot of, um, a lot of my friends have uh, mentioned to me um, dealing with a, a larger institution who um, they somehow got lost within the, the, the organization and, and not uh, felt the responsiveness that, uh, that, or, that they thought they would get from a bigger organization. And they found that if they go to a, a smaller community organization like, like Harco, the experience is so much better. And I think these times bring out uh, that, that experience, i.e., you're not just a number. You know, you're an individual. You're a, uh, a person that we want to try to help out. And, and I'm not trying to throw dispersions on you know, larger institutions, but they have a certain model. And that model works when times are really good. And when times aren't as good, uh, you'll notice the difference. 
What I hear you saying, Gil, is that we are the home team. We are the home team for their hometown. So we're trying to provide services, whether it be help or uh, new products at a time when they need it. 100%, 100%. I mean, they, they, we service, uh, nothing would pride me even more than to, to continue to help our community and build upon the foundation that since 1955 of providing that kind of service. The government has jumped in with stimulus checks. They say that if you had the bank account, the credit union account, uh, on your refund from last year, you could expect to see that in your account. Can they expect to see that if they did that here at Harco? Absolutely, yeah. It's it's. Um, if you haven't gotten it, I would go to the their website, the Treasury's website, and um, we'll provide that information to you at the end of this, uh, so you, you'll have that that information. Um, but. Check there if you haven't gotten it, and then if you're not sure whether it's in your account, whether if you haven't signed up for uh, internet banking, I would suggest that you do, and we can help you through that. Call our call center, and we'll, we'll be more than happy to uh, walk you through that. And or if you can't, then give us a call, and we'll look into your account to make sure that, that the money's in there and let you know. Yeah, during this time, people are seeing a lot of emails come by. Sometimes. Uh, uh, representing banks or other lenders, should they be wary of offers that are coming to refinance their mortgage or loans that are available? What should they do once they have gotten an email like this? Well, in one of my uh, messages that you'll see on, uh, that I posted to our membership, and, and I think we sent it out uh, on an email blast as well, we all need to stay really vigilant as it relates to um, our connectivity to the internet. Uh, just like always, uh, you know, there are people out there that want to try to trick you into uh, getting information from you. And it's going on uh, a lot today. So we all really need to be careful about who we're communicating with, whether it be via Facebook or emails or whatever. So if you have a question, don't just blindly check on something, click on something, and provide information. Um, pick up the phone, give us a call, and um, check that way. Because uh, the last thing you want to find yourself into is an identity theft kind of situation. And people are um, relying on the fear and your emotions in order to get information from you. So be diligent. Gil, as we wrap up this session, uh, what points do you want the members to walk away from your, your discussions about how you're trying to serve them? You know, we've been, again, we've been around since 1955, and that foundation of service uh, will continue. Uh, this is a, I've been in banking, Larry, 40 years, and I will tell you that this is probably going to be uh, a, a difficult period, but we will get through this. And uh, we come to you with solid financials, and we come to you with a mindset of service to the community. And it is still, you know, even before any of this were to occur, I would be saying the same thing. Nothing really has changed. I believe that our economy and uh, the, the ingenuity that has been brought forth will continue. And I think that will make us much stronger. This is a truly a pivot point in our time. And I believe that pivot point will have some pain associated with it. But with us all working together, we'll all get through that. But I believe on the other side of that, we're going to do something really amazing and the way how, how we communicate. Uh, and uh, I think the good of this is that I think we're getting back to community. Thanks, Gil. For more information about the stimulus program and more, go to www.harcocu.org. 
H-A-R-C-O-C-U.org. And join us next week on the Harford Lifestyle Magazine for another episode of this series of informational videos. Thank you.